How's it going YouTube? Got Fourth Star TCG here and today I have a very exciting video. This past weekend I attended the Baltimore Regional Championships and I was able to get some cards signed by the wonderful Kuki Saito. Uh, this was such an incredible event. It was very crazy, very hectic. Uh, the demand was off the charts for these signed cards but I was, uh, I was very lucky uh, to be able to get some. So in this video, I'm going to show off everything that I got, talk a little bit about the signing, uh, how it went, and uh, just generally my views on sort of the state of signed cards, especially, you know, when we had both the Saitu and Arita signings uh, this past weekend. So I was lucky enough to get three cards signed on Friday and three cards signed on Saturday. I was not able to get cards signed on Sunday and I did not get any of the panel tickets even though I was like refreshing and, and I was there right when they uh, right when they went live. Those sold out in, in 30 seconds. Um, so here is what I got. First card. Check that out. The Sky Tree Rayquaza shiny cracked ice promo with an incredible silver signature and Rayquaza sketch. Uh, this is just incredible. Uh, I think a main reason why so few people got signed cards and why they're, why a lot of people, if you didn't get there super early, you missed out, uh, was because Saito was so intricate with what he did. You'll see this on all my signed cards. They all are sketched with the Pokemon that's on the card. They're all personalized. They're all dated. You know, this one he did his English and Japanese signature and did a sketch of the Pokemon. So it's just nuts the the level of effort that he put in uh, to each signed card. It was clear that that's what he wanted to do. Um, if, you know, if he wanted to get through as many people as possible, he would have done that, but he prioritized quality over quantity. Um, and that was just, that was a personal decision on, on his part. And I think you're feeling pretty amazing if you got some cards like what I got. Check out this beautiful Gengar sketch. I love the little heart, just incredible. And again, we have both English and Japanese signatures, date, sketch, and personalized. That is a lot of work per card. And he was doing this, I think they got through about 75 people on Friday. Um, and signings went well over that time, uh, the, the allotted time on Friday. Um, here's the, uh, here's the final card that I got signed on Friday. This incredible Deoxys. Check out that sketch. And again, we got personalized, both signatures, dated, incredible. Um, after Friday and after the, uh, the amount of time that it took to get through, the line, there was a lot of discussion about, um, about, you know, what would be done on Saturday to kind of speed things up. Um, there was talk about, you know, only having a set number of sketches that you could pick from. So he wouldn't do any sketch. It would just be a, uh, a certain number of Pokemon that you could pick from. Uh, there was talk about how you could only get one sketch out of three cards. There was talk that he would only do the English or the Japanese signature, not both. Um, but on the second day, on Saturday, not much of that sort of came to fruition. And again, uh, this is really just because Saitu wanted to make every card memorable, to put a lot of effort into each card. Um, you know... There were some issues with the with the line, with people cutting in line, with people trying to fake um, the text messages that were used to make it so people didn't have to stand eight hours in line. They could just stand in a shorter line and then go off and do stuff during the day. Um, but, you know, the organizers, the event organizers, they did an incredible job. Uh, you know, people might have some gripes, but I really feel like the event organizers handled everything very well. Uh, with in the face of just truly unprecedented demand. Um, so on Saturday, I kind of I, I kind of knew things were going to be crazy. I got to the venue at five in the morning before it even opened. Uh, so about four and a half hours before uh, signings were due to start. 
which a little crazy, but you know, that's what you have to do. And even though I got there four and a half hours early, I was the second to last person on Saturday to get my card signed. Um, I think they even got through fewer people on Saturday than they did on Friday, which was pretty crazy. So here is what I got done on, uh, on Saturday. You have three more incredible cards. Check out that for alligator sketch. This is one of my favorite uh, Dragon Frontiers cards, this for alligator. So I was super happy to get it signed. Uh, I did uh, the personalization to my name in Japanese. I thought that was uh, that was pretty fitting with uh, with all the cards that I get, got signed being uh, being Japanese cards. And yeah, just an incredible for alligator sketch. The only change that he made on Saturday was that uh, he only did. English or Japanese. He didn't do both signatures. Uh, that was really the only change that was made. Uh, pretty interesting to see that he really, you know, even after Friday went a little crazy, he didn't really want to change that much uh, for Saturday. This is an incredible sketch. Shining Arceus, just beautiful. Truly amazing. I love this sketch. This is probably one of, if not my favorite sketches um, that I got. Uh, there are some really incredible ones. You got to see what other people have gotten as well. But this was just an amazing, amazing card. Last but certainly not least, beautiful Delta Species Flareon. Truly incredible. Um, I, I sort of... I sent off a bunch of Psy2 cards to PSA sort of stupidly before uh, before uh, this uh, before this signing was announced, uh, but I did still have the Flareon, and man, that is incredible. This just beautiful, beautiful sketch, next level. Yeah, so this weekend, this past weekend, really was super fun for me. Um, you know, not only did I get some amazing signed cards, but I. Um, I hung out with a ton of awesome people from E4. I met so many amazing people for the first time. We had, you know, even though it was a crazy time standing in line, we cracked packs, we traded stories, we looked at each other's binders, we signed cards for each other. Uh, it was just, it was an incredible time. Uh, I think, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't get any signed cards and, you know, I was pretty close. If I had showed up maybe 30 minutes later than I did on each day, I probably wouldn't have anything, um, which just goes to show how kind of luck-based these things are. Um, you know, depending on when you show up, depending on what time, everything, you know, depending on when other people show up, you can get, you know, you can get lucky with getting six signed cards um, or you can get nothing. So pretty, pretty crazy, I'd say. Um, it's, it's signings are just so, so interesting right now. Uh, there's such a massive demand for these signed cards and there really isn't a good answer for how to deal with it. Um, I feel like really anything that you do, whether you raise the prices of signed cards, you know, Saitu is only charging $20 per card. Um, which is very accessible. I feel like almost everyone can afford to pay $20 for a card, but those signatures are worth well more than the $20 that people were paying, even when they are personalized. Um, so, you know, it's just a lot of people were there for money, um, which I don't blame them for. Uh, a lot of people, you know, were huge fans like me. They're getting personalized to their names. You know, this, this card is never going to be resold, you know? <laughs> um, but, you know, the, the demand is just insane. We see this with the Arita signing as well in Ocala this weekend. Everyone wants signed cards. And I hope that the, uh, I hope that people realize how fragile these signing events are. Um, I hope people realize that any kind of bad behavior, whether that's, you know, harassing Saitu on Twitter because you didn't get a signed card, or whether that's following Arita back to his hotel and uh, you know trying to get signed cards that way, those behaviors jeopardize the existence of these signing events for everyone. So please be respectful, be courteous. 
you know, there are growing pains with this. And I'm not saying that everyone did everything right in terms of uh, the organizers, in terms of Sai to himself making the decision to go for quality over quantity. Uh, you know, we can argue that till the cows come home, but at the end of the day, everyone needs to be adults. And that's sort of the main takeaway that I want to give from this is that even if you don't get what you want, even if you, you traveled and, you know, it feels so bad, I feel so bad for people who traveled and, you know, yeah, showed up an hour later than they should have, you know, still got there super early and, and missed out. Um, that's really painful and that sucks. Uh, but we have to be adults about it so that we can keep getting the opportunity to get these cards signed. So uh, these cards are going to be going off to PSA. I'm going to get uh, these all authenticated. I'm not going to get any grades, just uh, an authentic autograph on all of them. Uh, so hopefully some point relatively soon, we will see these cards come back in PSA slabs. So let me know your thoughts on the Sci2 signing. Did you go? Did you get anything done? Uh, did you see me there? Did I see you there? Uh, in the comment section down below. So thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos.